Alright, what's going on everybody? I am um, back with some NCAA. I <clears throat> have a short stream that I can make today, um, followed by what's going to be my day off tomorrow. But uh, I wanted to make sure I at least got on here. I know that the plan was to play some Silent Hill, but I wanted to at least get on here and play something um, on stream and, and just kind of be able to let everybody know that uh, tomorrow I'll be I'll be busy um, <clears throat> having plans and going out of town. Uh, but then I'll be back Saturday and streaming Saturday. And that's I was kind of hoping that there was a small chance that there would be um, an online Dynasty game to play today. But that's not going to happen, um, so, uh, I wish that I could say that there was a chance to play tomorrow, but there's not. I'll have to wait until Saturday to be able to play that. So, um, <clears throat> with that being said, though, I figured that we could at least get a game knocked out in our offline dynasty as the Aggies being in the SEC. Um, probably a little bit less exciting game today, but, um, you know, UTEP, we're going to go ahead and see how this rivalry game works out, and... We're obviously going to advance and hope that we get some recruits and, and, you know, maybe some people trying to sign to play with us. So, um, anyways, I don't want to waste any more time. We'll go ahead and just jump right into it. <clears throat> All right. So, I really, I mean, UTEP is obviously a better football team than us, but we just knocked off Georgia in our first game of the season, and then we beat Arkansas in the second. Um, it really, I'm, I mean, it's really kind of showing me, too, that this game just really depends on... It, it's more about your plays, your, your play style, your tempo, your play calling, than it is about anything else. So, you know, like, Georgia, Georgia should have beat us, no problem. But they didn't run the ball enough. Um... They also they also no huddled, and it's like you know no huddle is something that I don't know I I don't view it as I don't view anything wrong with it like I don't think there's anything wrong with people that no huddle but at the same time like if you're gonna do that there's a there's a certain way that you're supposed to go about no huddling if that makes sense like and personnel packaging and stuff and. In this game, they just don't really have that Hi, down. Um, you the EA so no huddle in this game, game show, when the computer's e doing it, it's really Innovation easy to defend against. <clears throat> when a person is doing it, I think it would be a lot harder to defend against. Because that person probably Aggies knows how to actually properly state. personnel and package and that and flip the field and move the you know, their star players around to line them up to mismatches and shit. And that's really how you're supposed to run no huddle. You're supposed to and then you're also supposed to catch the defense off guard so that they can't sub personnel, which is where I say that the personnel game comes into play. Like, you want to find a way to convince them that they've got the right personnel on the field, but once you realize that there's a gap, you're no huddling and you're just punishing the gap or, you know, the, the area that they're suffering the most from. So, um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and keep trying to just run our conservative offense and and I mean our defense is really yes, stepping up for us the last game I, I ran a lot of the same defense just because that was all that really worked against them but it was working so hopefully we can kind of get a little bit more creative in this one because I don't want to be you know too vanilla Texas El Paso has lined up for the kickoff and we're ready to get this one underway He'll return it from the three. Got the corner. Rocked oh, down at the 31. He's had worse returns, that's for sure. And a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. <laughs> it's going to be tough today for this defense. Right. I think they're going to have to take some chances. Let's and go ahead and start out with what we're comfortable with, you know, which is obviously going to be our shotgun. Gifted running back. It opens Split up slot. every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Okay. Good cut back there. Oh, ooh. New Mexico State's got a he's got fucked up there, huh? Is leading the conference right now. Yeah, that didn't look very fun. He has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Well... 
I mean, but they didn't. I mean, they didn't stop us. We just had a we had a good cutback lane there, and our running back Price actually got the kick on the DN like he needs to. And again, they're coming out with six in the box, so I mean, I feel comfortable with that. There you go. I tell you what, I, I really didn't think that this running back at New Mexico State was going to be that big of a asset to me, but I'm telling you that right now I can see that it's good that I have him and. It's, it's going to be important that we continue using him and utilizing him where we, where he's needed. Oh shit. I don't know why I ran a draw play there, but I just I figured I would give a different look at a running play. And shit. Let's, let's do what we always do, huh? Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Price, up the this time. Nice Price is a freshman, nice I'm pretty sure, for us, so I'm, I'm hoping that he ends up taking over the reins. Gets the job done and picks I think the first running back is uh, Samuel. I don't remember what year he is. <clears throat> hmm. I normally like this, but I don't really like it at the moment. Yeah, that may be a little nervous. Nice That's still got five, six yards. Samuel. Still got six yes, yards. Six yards on the play. <clears throat> it's second down and four to go. Ball on the 40. Kind of wish I was running the screen to the boundary, but we'll see how this works to the field. They knock mm -hmm. it down. Incomplete. Wow, did you see that? I don't know how he got his hands up in time to knock that pass down. That's a major reason why you, I like to run screens to the boundary, because normally the zones that would would see that and cover it are in the middle of the field. So they're to the field, if that makes sense. <clears throat> I kind of just want to keep you know, pound the rock. There we go. The cutback lane. It's out to around the 32. And See this about is the flood action. <clears throat> We're going to shift our line to kind of let us roll out right a little bit. But I'm also going to bring my X receiver on a little cross down here below. He's going to try and scramble. It out there oh. and there wasn't anyone in the I guess I should have just taken off of that. That was disappointing. I don't think that's what I want. Maybe this is more what I want. We'll see if Warner's open and X might also be open, but if, if right bumper is open off the bat, we're going to go ahead and give it to him immediately. Down the catch and he's got room here. There we go. Made it a manageable third down again. That's the goal. Tenth play of the drive. <clears throat> Just need our O line to do their job. And they do. Around the 15-yard line. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. Hmm. First and ten. Try some ball on the 15. Here. I'm gonna try to slant this guy. I was going to say, please don't fumble. Our quarterback clearly likes to put the ball on the ground. I mean, he had four turnovers last Here's game. He is a freshman. I guess drive. I can give him a little bit of credit. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. 
And down at the goal line, that's not gonna work apparently. So let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna try this. We've got second and goal. Ball on the three yard line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Pressure. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver. That worked out for you. <clears throat> I sure we didn't have to throw it there. We probably could have been able to still punch it in, but <clears throat> I don't know. You get down to the yeah, around the goal line, you know they're just going to put up that brick wall against you. You can find a ways to expose that. Points. The score now 7 0. New Mexico State ready to kick this one off. <laughs> And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. Hey, what are they doing? That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. <laughs> Alright, so in this rivalry game, we got a touchdown lead. And with three minutes left in the first. And I do want to test out some different defenses. Here. Let's actually try the dollar. I kind of want to see what plays are in this playbook here. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. How did I miss that? Not just that bad. <laughs> I pushed the X button. And my guy just like, I don't know, broke down going right past him. Yeah, like, I pushed the X button there to try to tackle him. And my guy just kind of like put his arms out and stopped in mid-place. It's like, no, X is to dive or tackle. There's <laughs> whatever. First down, ten to go. Ball on the forty-three yard line. Mm. I was thinking that he was gonna throw that post that I was trying to go back there and guard. It's alright that he hit the crossing route though. So they are not a no huddle team. Let's try some pressure out of this formation, see what happens. And they make the stop first, yeah. at about the 33 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. First down. They are keeping with the same personnel, though. They don't like to really mix anything up. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Throw to the tight end. That's and okay. I'm okay with that. Do this cover two here. Go ahead and give him a chance to get out there. Oh man. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 17. Well, they like throwing the so ball, so I don't think the dollars are our playbook right now. Nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive line. Try that 4-3, though. It's been a while since I ran 4-3. Let's see what we got here. Go to cover 2 sink. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. I'm just going to press everybody. Him. And he okay. hits well, sorry, I still made the play. Somebody at least slowed him down. Let's look at this under. Cover two buck. I'm gonna put this DN back there in the room. Tries to buy some time. I'll get there. Fumble around. I'll never get a fumble on this game, man. Oh my What's up, Ginger Vitus? How are you? I even ranked after the Georgia game. Yeah, I know, man. We took down Georgia and uh, and Arkansas, and still nothing. So it's just not. They just don't like us yet. I'm not even. I didn't even get votes. Like possibility to be in the top 25. And I don't think this game ain't gonna fix that either. I mean, this is UTEP. <sighs> Thank you. 
Oh my god, why is my safety just sitting back there? The five -yard line. I'm just so watching the entire time. Halfback is good for a first down. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. Alright, now we're getting down to... I actually like this 4-4. This is the ninth play of this drive. You're the new Clemson. <laughs> yeah, no respect over here. Defense. That's exactly Trying right. Come up with an offensive stand here. What is my guy doing? Touchdown, Miners. I mean, that was the most unathletic play I've ever seen. <laughs> I guess this game just needs to give me control of everybody, huh? So many to to yeah. Da I mean, Dabo brought them the respect that they deserve, though. They, they're now the top dogs, in my opinion. I know that the Alabama's still there, but... I think that Clemson is... They're almost the new Bama. I don't know that... Uh, I, I actually, the only reason I think that take it from the two. Bama won this and year was because it was a quarter year. He's taken down at the 26 yard line. I think that Clemson has respect. I mean, you're right. They're not going to, they're still not looked at like Bama, but like they're definitely in the top three, four teams in the country every year, no matter what they do. They've got to play with some focus and smart. Don't kiss our they ass here. <laughs> I don't know if they're ever going to. <laughs> Oh shit, I didn't want to fuck that up. I just wanted to send Eon a little drag route here. On play action. He'll I'm give it to him. Complete. Go. He's give him some blocking. Block somebody. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds <clears throat> at the 42. Yeah, no, Clemson, uh... I, I mean, there's no doubt that they're, they're the top competition right now. Bama literally only First won down. this year because... Uh... One, the COVID issues, and then two, Bama got a cakewalk before they had to play. Here comes the pressure. Or well, well they got a cakewalk with Ohio State, and Around before Clemson line. had to play Ohio State, they got the shit kicked out of them by Notre Dame. Not like not like beaten, but like it was a physical game to where their guys were sore, and and obviously they had more COVID issues. Their offensive coordinator, I don't think, made the game quarter. because he had COVID. So. It's just a, it's just a bad year. They gargle shaft and balls and pan on Ohio State. Yeah, they do. The, I, Bama fans don't even bother me as much as Ohio State fans. Ohio State fans here take the hell out of me. Back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. <clears throat> Ooh, would BB open with this one? I'm just trying like a bunch of different new passing plays Under out of pressure. fucking shit formation. They'll bring him down at the 23. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands. Not have talked shit. He fielded the fire. No, 100%. Yeah, I mean. He, can make something big he was kind of being honest, though. <laughs> I mean, it was a ranking. They were asking him his opinion. He was like, well, I just haven't seen it. So I can't, you know, can't be too upset by him. Shit, there's a linebacker there. I did not see that linebacker. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get exactly. That's exactly right. The I, I, the other I side mean, of the ball. that's why. Isn't the Pac-12 still going to play their games this spring or something like that? It's like, well, you know, no matter what happens over there, like you can just be a Pac-12 champion. You're not, you're not part of the real conferences now because of what you pulled. I want to beat to be open so bad. He's under some heat. He's taken Actually, I can't believe my guy didn't fumble it. I think that A&M was better too. I thought A&M should have definitely snuck in there. Um, was it Notre Dame that they still snuck in there? I can't remember who got in over them, but I think A&M got shafted this year, big time. It's third and nine. Ball on the 23-yard line. Dude, I don't like that crossing around. I'd, I'd rather just put him on a slant. That's more the angle that I want him to go at. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. They connect cool. again. What a ah. play to set him up with a first and goal. All right, I'll give one of my running backs a touchdown. Fine.
Oh, maybe not. Okay. They're crowding the line. <laughs> that went nowhere. Very fast. Running back's not having as good of a game. I mean, he looked great in the opening drive, but... The toss week. I keep running that. Yeah, that shit. I think toss week here will really burn him. As long as my guys get their blocks. I'm going to shift my tight end over, too. Look at that. Look at that leverage. We got a hat on a hat. Oh, and you're shitting me with that fucking line. bullshit. Try to pull back that. I'm like, pull back that. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a Play action either. But what if I do this? And throw a fade up. Fade didn't work. I think the quarterback that time just felt the well, pressure. We're gonna try to punch this in. Football <clears throat> before he took the sack. Yeah, I've been in pain all day at work. My sag nerve is acting up. Really? <laughs> what? You've been at work all day? <laughs> You didn't, you didn't try to get out of there with that? <laughs> Should I try to go... Let's try to go so the power offense option. is going for it. It's fourth down, and we're on the two-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. Oh. Come on. There's a missed opportunity by the Receiver offense. needs to block. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. <clears throat> yeah, I would have been trying to get out of work with that. <clears throat> They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out. Well, should have brought pressure. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Here's a handoff, left side. Fields gains around six yards on the run. It's my last day for this week. Oh, gotcha. You got a three-day weekend. I said, fuck it. Heating pad arrives tomorrow from Amazon. Should be able to decrease inflammation. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Those heating pads are sweet. <clears throat> I want to bring some pressure. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. The defense just isn't really flowing right now. I wonder if I just need to like find a different formation. Maybe we should go back to our 4 2 5. Why, why whenever I go into the hole and I press X to like dive to tackle, my guy just all of a sudden, like, it's like he crouches. Am I pushing the wrong button? Has the button changed in this game? Maybe I just shouldn't play as a safety right now. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Okay, nice kind of worked that time. We're gonna start getting crazy here. From their We're gonna start own, taking some risks. Yard line. First down. He's hit right away. The defense provided good pressure on the play, but they just weren't able to get to the quarterback that time. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Let's try. 
from their own 39 yard line. It's second down. He's on the run. Oh, dude. He runs with it, and he's got room. And he is drilled at the 45 yard line. <clears throat> His read options are just killing me. Ugh. That makes it second and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. Okay. Dude, how is it like I run into my guy and then my dude just flakes off somehow? Just bounces off and then it just it totally takes my balance away and my guy just kind of is in that little animation mode to where I can't move him for like a split second. That's just enough time. <clears throat> and he adds the extra point. A nice eight play, 95 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped. Two men drill here. Let me score before Texas half. El Paso. Get set to kick this one away. Samuel fields it at the three. He's to the 20. He Made makes the it block. to maybe the 23 yard line. I'll tell you what, man. Playing, playing as a not very talented team sure does make it very, very difficult <clears throat> to find that success. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Rolls to the tailback, incomplete. Sorry, I'm kind of okay with him dropping that just because, you know, the clock is working against us at the moment. <laughs> it's second and ten. All on the 23-yard line. Oh, ho, ho. Get the block. I'm trying to like wiggle to where my guy will like log him and, and get the block. Holy cow. <laughs> Sorry, that was a good good big play there. Gave us a chance to score four half, so. Play fake and looking to run. Bounds, right around yeah, the 28-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Mm -hmm. Which post was a uh, was a thing? He sent him on a post. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at about the 11. That's a one thing that I'm struggling with in my online dynasty is finding ways to hit the number one receiver, like the outside receivers. So I'm really trying to practice that in this dynasty a little bit whenever I have a game that I can afford to practice that. So. Because my running back just caught that. Huh. <laughs> well, shit. We gave them enough time to probably try to score before half, but maybe we can get them. Maybe we can bait them into being aggressive and get the ball back somehow. Because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that I did. I start with the ball first. Yeah, I did. So they will get the ball after half. So I really need to try to worry about like you know if they score then they're going to get the ball right back at half. So that's problematic for me obviously. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. 
He scrambled. He's wrapped Boom. up for the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From their own 25-yard line, second down. It looks like they're going to blitz. Oh, they're trying to run that clock out. Shit, I didn't even notice. If we get, if we can stop them here, well, I'll try to call timeout. Now he's scrambling. Oh, dude. He's tackled at about the 33 Okay, call timeout there. Well, they didn't get the first down. <clears throat> it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. This could be. This could really bite me in the it's ass, third honestly. Down, but two yards shy of the sticks. He's in trouble, and he tackles him hard at the 26. Well, New fuck, Mexico even State if I get the ball back, first time out of the half. <clears throat> time to really do anything with it. Slow Obvious sack, right? <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> Okay, got three seconds for a Hail Mary, though. We'll give a Hail Mary a shot. I'm gonna... I don't think that my freshman quarterback could probably throw it that far, but... You never know. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Over the middle! That's incomplete. Nope, nope. <clears throat> All right, so we got to kick off now. So we played two quarters. And obviously, we got to stop them, but even if they score, it'll be all right. We just got to respond. Right, so right now, we're in that limbo stage where it's, ain't, it's anybody's game. You don't really got to feel too much pressure. You just got to play your bend, don't break defense. And that's kind of our goal. You know, at this point, a field, even giving up a field goal is a win for the defense. So we just got to try to... Eliminate big plays, keep everything in front of us, rally to the ball. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. now. You gotta make every possession count. Mike three! Mike three! There, here we go. Ooh, now they're bringing out the heavier package. They didn't like that. Second and seven. Ball on the 28 yard line. Quick, quick, quick. Damn, two tackles in a row, baby. Alright. <clears throat> uh, we gotta bring pressure, right? Right? Pressure from the outside. Oh, oh you're... Sh he stepped out. <laughs> I was going to say, whose man is that? That's my linebackers. I can see it on the... Sorry, I got kind of a replay. And he didn't go cover him! <laughs> uh, I love this shit. It's funny that my OBS is behind right now that it gives me a replay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> How's that new defense Samuel working out? I mean, it's working out. It's, I mean, it's almost too much, honestly, uh, is what I've kind of noticed. Oh shit, please block. It's almost too much, you know, though, because, like, now it's like. I probably need to trim it down more than anything. Um. Just because, you know, rifling through it to try to pick a play before they snap the ball is kind of overwhelming. <laughs> but, I mean, it's been effective. It gives me it gives me more options, which is what I wanted. Now I just need to, like, maybe trim down those options. 
Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Really never bounced that play outside, but I saw an opportunity and I figured that it was going to be just as effective, so I did it. But I would not recommend that. <clears throat> inside run play should stay inside unless, you know, everything's closed, then you can bounce. Second and five. I really like this play, especially like I need to get better at running Veer because I think that if I could run Veer and then run this play, this play action is just so sick. Let's see, but then shit. It's a really awesome play action of moving and stuff, but I mean, obviously they blitzed right into it there, so I was kind of in trouble from the start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Well, that's not going to give me the distance that I need. Oh my god, I was going to go to X because he was wide open too. They blitzed right into it again. Well, that's problematic. Because I really needed to, makes this a I just forced to stop, long. and I really needed a, uh, at least a score there, at least a field goal. And that didn't happen. Punch away. This one's like a line drive. There we go, got him back to the 10 I got a long way to go, now we'll just play our bend, don't break. That is why a lot of head it's just like we're starting half over again, nobody did anything. Except for I'm winning the field position so battle. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Oh my gosh. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 32 yard line. <laughs> Don't understand how. Oh, my stream caught up also. I can't look at the instant replay anymore because it finally caught up. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. I'm sitting here like. I've got eight in the box. So they're really using their front seven to block my eight. Like somebody's not doing their job. Try to let's try to go back to this three four actually. I seem to have more linebackers on my team, so I think the three four in this dynasty at least is going to be something that I'll want to use more. Okay, I've got six in the box. Now he tries to buy some time. Get there. Alright, I'm alright with that. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Let's do it. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 35. He's out of bounds. There we go. <clears throat> Gain of four yards. That brings up fourth and three. Sloan is waiting for the snap. Maybe the 36-yard line. We're getting decent punt returns now, at least, though. I mean, we're getting the blocking that is just enough to give us a break, but... A lot of times, you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Hmm. He's going to try and scramble. Tries to get around the corner. <laughs> I tried to get out of bounds and that guy cut me off. So hard. <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> uh, fuck. Should have almost dove for the out of bounds. What the heck? <laughs> 
I feel bad for what I just put him through, to be honest. Second and six. <laughs> like, here, just go run through this brick wall real quick to try to get to the sideline. Get him. I think the game, too, I need to try to run the read option more often, honestly. Because I think the game, if you're if you're a scrambling quarterback, I feel like the game um, makes it to where you, you fumble more often because you're a scrambling quarterback. But if you're a running quarterback on like a designed run play, I feel like you don't get that that same kind of like fumble chance. Like your chances are, are lowered because you're a running quarterback on a designed run rather than a scrambling quarterback. So been something that I've been considering trying to um, <clears throat> get more comfortable with it's first the, down. the veer options and the read options and stuff so they'll bring him down at the 37 no gain on the play that makes it second and 10 let's just see here ah, gosh now my quarterback's tired let's just, let's go screen pass that way he can take a break maybe Damn, I always do this. Let's do it to the boundary, though. There's a reason that I think that screens are more successful to the boundary. And that guy's pressed, so we're going to make him outside release on a comeback. He's going to be the comeback. That's not a comeback. What's the comeback? Oh, there's no comeback option? I swear there was a comeback option. Okay. Well, anyways. So we got the, got the blitz we wanted, and he got caught. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short. And he didn't even get pressed. The receiver that I was trying to send deep. Ugh, this game. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. <laughs> Alright. There we go. He's taken down yeah, right like around that. the 16-yard line. We'll play action flood here. Look at that guy running out there. He's blitzing, ain't he? No? He just didn't belong there, though. You gotta jump in front of the defender, man. He actually had... I'm not gonna lie, though. He was running post, and I was in, was in the post. Let me see. Oh yeah, shit. I thought he was running dig, which is why I threw it inside. I was like, oh my god, there's no linebacker in coverage there. We'll just replace him. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That didn't work. <clears throat> Not working. Let's go ahead and put it on the ground here. Ooh, I don't like that they just did that. Fuck. Okay, we'll go back to what we just had. That really jacked me up there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Scrambling around. And they got him. Look. And for Ortega, he's got two sacks on the day now. Yeah, that's two trying sacks. Trying to throw that away. This defensive end, he's really showed up and played the type of game you'd expect from him. All right. Okay, well this is good. We'll at least get I probably should have seen if we could have just taken it to quarter to give my guys a rest cuz they were all tired. But we got to at least kick a field goal here, so. So with one quarter remaining, we're, we're going to try right to find something 14. that can get the first, but we're going to have a release valve that we can take advantage of if we don't like the look of it. Why sale? Well, we're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. I'm going to try to roll my quarterback out, and I just hope that he can get there. Get outside, get outside, get outside. Why is there nobody helping you? A was open and we throw it out of bounds for some reason. My guy's just not very good at rolling out of pocket. Well, fuck. I mean, I don't even know if I'm in field range. This is a good test, though. We'll go ahead and try this. Check it down or take off and run with it. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks away. Short, barely, huh? I didn't, I didn't get the full throttle under it either. Alright. I wonder how much I missed that by, though. I kind of want to see. Just because, like, I don't I don't really know my kicker's ability, so... 
really. I bet if I would have had full throttle on it, I probably would have made it. I thought you were ranked. I missed yesterday, so not sure what I missed. No, um, I mean, we, we beat Georgia, but they didn't, that wasn't impressive enough, apparently. And, um, then obviously, uh, we ended up beating Arkansas, which was good, but they still don't even have us as, like, an option to be ranked. We didn't receive any votes or nothing, so they're just not impressed by our wins just yet, which I get. Yeah, I know. I, I get it, um, to be honest. Like, I'm a no-name team, and they think that I've had two flukes, and then... This game probably also isn't going to get me anywhere because I'm playing UTEP of all teams, but, you know, the hope is that, that, I think, I actually can't remember what our next game is. Is it, uh, might be New Mexico, just regular, oh, catch it. Might just be regular New Mexico, it might be another rivalry game. Or it might be something, I'm not really sure, but <clears throat> the hope is that our next game is a, a tough matchup that we can go into and try to make some noise. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay, we got lucky there. Not gonna lie. Yeah, exactly, just keep winning. I mean, the thing is, like, we, we, we keep winning, but it's it's sketchy. <laughs> when we win, it is, it is uh, close games, and I feel like it's just... The the other the opponents not utilizing their players like they should be like Georgia. I mean, you saw that they they uh, had their running back running all over me for 11 yards of carry, but they only gave it to him 16 times. So you know, I think that uh, this game I'm I'm actually kind of playing sloppy right now too. So you need your playmakers to really come through here. They're begging me to run the ball right now though. Why there's no bad block? Uh, well, he came outside, didn't he? That handoff needs to happen faster than if that's the case. And that's something that I can't control. The game, you know, has its own mechanic that it's stuck with, so. Just lucky. Obviously, you said you like to keep the game close, but it makes sense to me. Exactly, yeah. That, the goal is to kind of more so run out clock and, and give your opponent less of a chance to make the game, you know, out of reach, so. And he is green at the 47 yard line. That's why, honestly, this one's a low-scoring game, but the reason that I, I actually haven't, like, taken the lead on this game, I just messed up that drive where we missed the field goal because I got sacked out of field goal range. That's a bad mistake that's unacceptable for me to make. And then, to top that off, earlier in the game, I actually had a drive. Why did my lineman just run at me? I had, a, I had a hole to run through to just get, like, four yards and slide, and my O-lineman turned, yep, right there. He's just like, oh, hey! <laughs> But then, yeah, earlier in the game I had a drive where I was on the three-yard line and I decided to go for it, and we ran a speed option, and my wide receiver didn't block his man, so... It's just uh, it's just missed opportunities at this point, but luckily we're playing a team... I hate to say this, where we can afford to miss some of those opportunities. Oh, we just had the glitch again. Ooh, this glitch is killing me. I need to not audible to that. That makes it third and eleven. You know, the other two games, we couldn't afford to have those mistakes, and, and we got lucky not, not having them, so. There's an 11. They're bringing the heat. Fakes the handoff, and he's in trouble. Drive slings it. The 10. Let's go score, baby. Touchdown, New Mexico State. <clears throat> well, that was nice. That was literally the read one, read two, read three, read four. We're going to go all the way to the backside here. All right. So now we need a defensive hold, and we'll be fine. Also, we played three and home games in a row. That's point. unusual. But that, that has also helped. I'm not going to lie. The moment that we actually get into Auburn Stadium, LSU Stadium, Alabama Stadium, and they are roaring because we're ranked and stuff, and I get the jittery play art, it's going to make it challenging. So, 
Brad, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Well, shoot, now they're kind of in catch-up mode. I kind of want to go here. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. We're finally pursuing properly. That's a big help. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 24. Why are you all the way down there? You over top there. Oh shit. Ooh, okay, big 99. I see you getting over there. That was big time because, I mean, they had that screen set up beautifully. I like that cover three max, though. And actually, I know that I just yelled at my guy for getting down there, but as long as my corners really do press, I bet that he could. Actually, I'm not going to risk that. I bet that he could get back there fast enough. Holy shit, a run on third and nine? What are they doing? It's a very odd play call. And I feel like, again, we're in a position to where they uh, are just not calling the plays properly to, to give them a chance. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's got the corner. Okay. <clears throat> Should we take a shot, maybe? I'm thinking we try to take a shot. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now, with this offense, oh, shit, that was bad. I want to take the shot. What am I doing? Down he goes. That was reckless. <laughs> I needed to not do that. <clears throat> and my quarterback was kind of having a good game, too. I shouldn't have done that to him. That's just me punishing him for no reason. From the 47 yard but still, I like this formation, at least. Less than three minutes in the game. I'll put you there. Because they get pressed, so my safeties really do have time to get back, actually. Runs with it, and he's got room. Ah. Slides down to the ground. The quarterback thought he saw a little bit of running room, but he made a good decision to get down in a hurry. Let's go Monster Green. This looks interesting. How did my guy miss? Brought down at the 33. Ugh. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. <clears throat> I don't know why. It's like you think that your guy would. I mean, I'm going through the hole. I got the stick aimed right where he's at, and for some reason, it's like a, like one of those opposite magnets that pushes you away. It was like that's what I feel like is happening to my guy whenever I'm trying to lock on to make the tackle on somebody like that. Should still be pressed on the outside though. Fires out to him. Tackle made at the 24. All right. Number 21 brings him down at the 24 yard line. Well, they're they're in four down territory for sure, so. It's third down and this offense is about 3 feet away from that first down marker. Is the handoff and he's brought down right away. Let's get this stop. <clears throat> I'm on the same play. Actually, we'll flip it though. Oh shit! We got the turnovers on that. Holy cow! with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. Okay.
And I should just run the clock out, but I kind of want to, I still want to, you know, I don't know, I'm kind of overconfident right now, I'm not going to lie. We'll at least make them use all their timeouts to if I feel like I am in trouble, we can run the rest of the clock out. They're about four yards away here on second down. New Mexico State is up by a touchdown. He's to the 40. He gets Ooh, I was going to try to cut him with move number seven's block there. We'll take a timeout. That's their second of the half. See if this press opens something up here. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Damn, my interception is really making my quarterback not look as stellar as he actually was. And then that, so it's two incompletions right there that I just killed his stats with. Makes it to the 47. The miners they're gonna have to call their third and final timeout. Great job Let's on the get the first and then we can start having nine. some fun and I won't worry about it. Because I mean they haven't broken my defense once, so I'm not I'm not really that worried about them scoring to tie it or anything like that at this point as long as I can. Takes it up the go. middle for a nice run. Good deal. Go to the empty quads. See what we got here. Quads to the boundary. <clears throat> My defensive coordinator at Vianney would be right. Or specific would love this. Out. The in the gun. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. He's wrapped up for the sack. Loss of four on the play. New Mexico State's going to use their first time out of the half here. What do I care? The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He wants it all going long. And it's intercepted. No tackling, please. Boy, the offense had an opportunity. Damn it. <clears throat> oh well. And their hopes look like I was trying to get my guy to go up and jump for it. Bold. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm I'm being careless right now, but from their own 22 yard line. I don't have anything to worry about down. at least. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 39. Number 15 brings him down at the 39 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Come on. I just wasted three seconds trying to spike it there. They should have done that immediately. But they'll definitely come out. <clears throat> there we go. We'll go ahead and do our three deep blitz. Second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Quickly, and he's got his man, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 50 yard line. And we'll do prevent for the Hail Mary. And we'll bring some pressure too. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. <laughs> okay. <by> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, we're talking a layup. <laughs> I mean... oh, shit. <laughs> that was funny. Funny way to end it there. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down in the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see so yeah, so we'll go ahead and sim here too, um, advance to the next week, and we'll see what we look like now that we got three wins on our 
class shoestring Hilmer catch. Yeah, exactly. It really, really brought the drama to it, didn't it? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> game rank two. I didn't run the ball nearly as much that game just because I was trying to test out some of the passes. And I still haven't even, you know, used all of the plays that I put in my offensive playbook yet. So it was nice to be able to test out some of those to see how I could get different receivers involved and whatnot. But obviously, you know, it we probably should have scored 35 points in this game. And we failed to do that just because I was experimenting. But, you know, we can afford to do that at this point. So let's go ahead and advance. Oh, we got Notre Dame next week. Oh, shit. So if we're not ranked, this ought to do it for us. How long have I been streaming for? Oh, just an hour. Dude, I might, I might try to sneak in this Notre Dame game real quick then, because I I'll tell you right now that the Notre Dame game is gonna be, I think it'll be a quick game because I plan on putting the ball on the ground a lot against them because I obviously that last game I'm throwing the ball I'm stopping the clock a lot because. I'm not as worried about them. I was trying to be a little bit more aggressive than I usually would play. Um, you know, spread the ball around, show some love. So I got recruits ready to visit too. <clears throat> so let's do that real quick. Notre Dame's number four, so we'll have taken down two number fours if we can find a way to get this one. Awesome. Okay, so we got those taken care of. Um, let's just look at the polls and see what's happening. <laughs> South Navy Memphis. They don't even have me getting votes right now, man. <laughs> they don't respect me at all at the moment. There's no state Virginia Tech. Yeah, there's no Mexico State University up there. All right. Well, here, let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and play this now because I know it'll be a faster game. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here on this one, and then I'm not going to stop the stream, though, and then I'll go ahead and jump into the next game so that they can be two different episodes on YouTube for this. So, um, Anyways, those on YouTube, thanks for watching. Um, I'm obviously going to play Notre Dame right now, so we'll see you in the next episode of this.